Hello guys, welcome back. In this part we will look at the system dot timers dot timer. In this case, um, system dot net to timer com component is a server based timer that raises an elapsed event in your application after a number of milliseconds in the interval property has elapsed you can configure the timer object to raise the event just once or repeatedly using the auto reset as you can see on the, on the screen if i run application see the application just started and the timer obviously is um, raised every two seconds so every two seconds the the elapsed event is raised so as you can see so what we try to do is we, we will try to build the same thing and explain it further on so stay tuned and as you can see now I've got a, a blank solution right a blank a project so what we would do next is we just go ahead and work on it straight away so first of all we write I'm um, using system um, timer of course it's equal to system dot timers dot timer so that's the one we will use so what we do next is first we add a private field um, st private static timer so this will be our timer so the next bit is we, we just write a simple method static void and this will be a set timer so inside our set timer we will initialize our timer so this will be a system dot timers So inside here we pass in the elapsed milliseconds, like second or milliseconds. So in this case we want it to um, the the elapsed event to be raised every two seconds. So in this case we put two thousand, representing two seconds. So we can raise our timer elapsed event dot elapsed. So we will just raise the event, you create a method. So whenever the timer is elapsed, this method will, will be raised. So we will just write something here, console.write line. And we say um, timer event raised at then we, we just put the time the, 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 the event was signaled so in this is what we put for here we come back to the set timer method and we say we enable uh, auto reset we set it to true in this case um, this the timer will run every two seconds concurrently and then we enable the timer that will be the last bit that we do we set the enable to true so as you can see we've got this part sorted out so what we would do next is we come we actually come to the main so here this is what we do we start the, um, the set timer method then we can write something obviously to show and we can say application uh, first we can say um, press 
any key to add it. Then the second bit we can say application started at uh, daytime dot etc now that um we just put a long date and then we can say um console dot read line then the, and then one last bit is we check if our timer object is not empty then we can say timer dot stop then we can say timer dot dispose and then after that we can say we, we, we just write um, timer terminating So as you can see, this is very, very pretty simple stuff. So what we do is um, we will just go ahead and, and run it to see if our timer will be raised every two seconds. So fingers crossed that everything works out nice. So as you can see, the timer is being raised every two seconds. So even just to be to verify more that the object is being called, we can also say um, we can say private int count. Then we can say private sorry uh, private static int. Then we can say count is equal to zero. And then inside here we say count. And then, then we can write here we can write event count so we just run it again So as you can see, whenever the method is called, we just count in it. So we can do a whole lot of operations. We can also pass in. Um, we can also do um, passing parameters and whatnot. So in the next bit, we will also look at the, um, the system dot threading dot timer, and we will have a look at that bit as well. But rather than just wasting too much time we just we can just bang on straight away so here inside our, our main we just remove everything here and leave just this then we call our variable time it's just for timer because we've got it's a new timer we, okay, we say system dot threading dot timer, and here it takes in um 
an action which is the object which which is our callback so obj and we say and this is object uh, the and then the, the state the object state the, so we just pass nothing here and then the first bit will be the time the interval so we can say time span time span dot from seconds so we just make it and then the elapse so we put the same time span dot from seconds and we just make it one second as well so inside here our method here we can put um, console dot right line and we just write something a timer we say our system dot threading dot timer event raised at then we can just say daytime passing our daytime UTC now and we put our full time so as you can see it's pretty simple stuff and then after that what we can say is um actually we can put this right in front of it here yeah. and we can say application started press in the key to exit then here we can say console that read line so we just go ahead and run it to see if we can get our timer to our timer to run at every second. So as you can see, system dot event raised that. So out every second is, is is being run so as you can see this is another way that you can also achieve like in a time in a timer or in a timer managed application ways obviously you can pull whatever method that you want to run whenever the time interval is raised so as you can see we pretty done and dusted from this bit so on the next bit we will go ahead and look at our c sharp keywords so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel and have a lovely day bye bye